Over the next five years, China's President Xi Jinping is attempting to carry out the biggest restructuring of the nation's armed forces since the 1950s. His goal is to enable the People's Liberation Army to conduct modern warfare, far beyond China's borders if needed, to protect its expanding global interests. But Mr. Xi risks antagonizing senior officers and ordinary soldiers in the PLA, which underpins Communist Party rule and has often been a rival power base to the civilian leadership. Here's a look back at the PLA's role in modern Chinese history. It began as the Red Army in 1927, when government soldiers mutinied and joined a communist uprising led by Mao Zedong. Renamed as the PLA, it swept Mao to power in 1949, with a force of more than six million troops. About three million Chinese troops fought in the 1950-53 Korean War, when China backed the communist north. In 1962, the PLA won a brief war with India over a disputed Himalayan border, and in 1969 it clashed with Soviet forces over their contested frontier. The last conflict it fought was a border war with Vietnam in 1979, which both sides claimed to have won. When Deng Xiaoping took power in 1978, the PLA was allowed to build a huge business empire, including investments in real estate, pharmaceuticals and nightclubs, in exchange for supporting his market-oriented reforms. In 1989, the PLA crushed pro-democracy protests in and around Tiananmen Square, killing hundreds of people, according to multiple witnesses. The official death toll was 241. By 1998, President Jiang Zemin was worried about the PLA's combat capabilities. He ordered it to shut down its business ventures in return for large annual increases in defense spending. But China's next president, Hu Jintao, failed to assert his authority over the military corruption became rampant. President Xi took power in 2012, determined to rein in the PLA. He has broadened an anti-corruption campaign to include its top brass, arresting or convicting at least 41 generals. He stepped up efforts to enforce territorial claims in Asia and has ordered the PLA to train to fight and win wars. Now he's overhauling the PLA's internal structures. He's created a new army command, rocket force and strategic support force, effectively downgrading the status of the army, which previously held higher standing than the other branches of the military. He's replaced China's seven military regions with five new theater commands that have more fluid boundaries and will focus more on external threats. A new overseas operations office will handle missions further afield and he set up 15 new offices to replace the four PLA general departments that were previously run as personal fiefdoms by top generals. He's taken the title of Commander-in-Chief of a newly established Joint Battle Command Center, which he recently visited in camouflage fatigues and combat boots. He's also cutting 300,000 of its 2.3 million troops, the biggest cut in two decades. If these changes succeed, experts say they could enable China to conduct the same kind of joint operations, combining ground, air and naval forces with information technology that the US has pioneered. But as the Chinese economy slows, there are signs of dissent among officers whose powers have been curbed and soldiers worried about the impending layoffs. For President Xi, the battle to reform the military has only just begun.